everybody it's Sharon here welcome back to my channel for those who are returning and welcome to any new subscribers that may be visiting for the first time so today I'd like to do some pockets I am thinking I might do a pockets in 10 to 20 to 30 as well as the tags in 10 to 20 to 30 I haven't decided exactly whether I will or not this video may go up as that but I'm not sure how many I will add to the set and I have here some paper that I'm going to work with it is recycled um, brown packing paper or packaging paper and it comes to me like this so it's continuous and it has the perforated tear strips and I just take three sections and I glue them together with my glue stick so my Bostic glue stick um, I have worked with this paper before, but for those who are new to my channel, I just thought I would share that. So I just apply my glue stick all over, press that piece down, then open up this one, apply my glue stick and press this one down. And I use my bone folder when I apply the glue and I just work from the center out towards the edges to press it in. And once it dries, I end up with a sheet of, it's almost like a thin cardboard. And I'm going to use that to create these pockets. So now that I've walked you through my me media, um, so I just want to cut this and I will, I'm hoping my guillotine will, or my paper cutter will work okay through this. Just taking off that little bit of an edge and I'm thinking I would like to make them so just for the journal I'm working in at the moment and you can make these any size you'd like oh how big how big I'm almost thinking five by two and three quarters two and a half I'm going to say two and three quarters. So five by two and three quarters. Whoops. Okay. So two and three quarters. Whoops, can count. And then I'm just going to take the edge off just in case I have any inconsistencies when I glued them together in that hasn't quite gone through that in the edges of the paper is why I'm cutting off the edges and I have this little strip here which I could use as a little tag so I'm just going to trim that oops okay so I've mentioned before, I'm working on my Wonderland journal. And I've mentioned before that for some strange reason, when I think of fairies and unicorns, I think of patchwork. Now, I'm not talking grandma's quilt or anything like that. I'm talking almost fields of patchwork colours is what I'm thinking in my mind. So... I want to create a little pocket. I'm going to use some scraps and I'm going to use a patchwork theme, if you like. So I have, I have my three quarter, oops, I'll bring it up closer. It's a three quarter inch square punch and I'll just get my scraps. So I'm using my antique papery papers, which are the papers I've been using for this journal. And I do have quite a few scraps still and I'm hoping I can get, don't think that will, oh, it might work actually. So 
I hope you're all fabulous. I've had a busy day again today. I think each day is quite the same in that respect, actually. They're all just busy. Um, and I've managed to make it into my craft area to do some crafting with you all, so I'm excited about that. And I've decided I wanted to make more pockets. So before turning the camera on, I think I've got enough scraps there. Before turning the camera on, I was like, now, what do I want to do? I don't know what I want to do. So this is what I came up with. And I've actually been thinking about doing this for a little while now. So I've been having all of these ideas and just not enough hours in my day to get in here and and do them so I'm just punching out just a couple from each sheet at this stage I am aiming for colors and patterns rather than the more neutral areas because I think that will bring more to my quilted effect. And you could do this with any paper. You could actually do it with any backing paper. I decided the brown packaging paper would be fun because it's darker. It, I'm hoping it will make, or it should make the um, little patchwork squares pop is what I'm thinking. So I'm just going through, I have no idea if I have enough yet. I think I've used a strip similar to that already. And I've possibly used this one as well, I can't remember. Okay, so I have my little squares here and I'm just going to work out exactly how many I will fit. I'm kind of hoping for an even number. Uh, sorry, an odd number. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm saying. I'm kind of hoping to fit an odd number rather than an even number. So I'm just trying to find centre. And I want to work out, this isn't necessarily how they're going. I'm just trying to work out whether I will have a border is what I'm hoping for. So five across and three up. I'm pretty happy with that. And by the look of it, I'll have a, a relatively even border. Slightly wider on the sides than in the centre, but I'm good with that. So that's what I'm aiming for. Okay. And I am going to ink, guys, because I want them all to have a definition about them. So, whoops. And I do need to ink my backing paper also. So yes, I think this is a fun way to use scraps. And I am trying to come up with different ways of utilising them so that, I mean, I think even the smallest of pieces, as I said, these are only three quarter inch square. I think the detail that they give for such a tiny piece of paper is so fun. And so I'm really enjoying the process of coming up with different ideas on how to use them.
just wondering if I think I need this pink one in there because that red is a little bit too strong. And believe it or not, I've actually got just one extra that I needed. That's kind of funny. I totally planned it that way, guys. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I said, mm -hmm, as I shook my head, no. <laughs> okay, so my blue book which I think I shifted. So I have one here and my glue stick. How am I going for time? Oh my goodness, guys, I think I'm going to get this pocket done in my 10 to 20 to 30. I shouldn't say that yet. I'm not finished, <laughs> but I'm excited. Okay, so I'm just trying to find my center to get me started. And I think I want to work out also just working out my spacing really for this first set and then after I've worked that out I can work in amongst it I think I'm actually going to space them rather than group them really close together so a little bit of a space in between each one I'm thinking No sneezing right now, okay? And it may be that I put these on the glue book and then glue them a different way around to what I had them originally, but that's okay. It is not an exact science. Says she who flipped that one over to make sure I knew which way it went down. <laughs> Too funny. Oops. Okay, and I want to move those now. Need to move that. I have glue on my fingers so they're sticking. Okay, because I kind of want to make sure that they are straight ish. I don't know that they're perfectly straight, but it's fun. And again, just leaving a space between my lines, my vertical lines. And I'm going to continue this process so... <laughs> I put that in a different spot. Okay, so don't do what I do. Do what I say for now. Too funny. Okay, focus.
Okay, and I'm just going to burnish all of that down from underneath. My goodness, that's so fun. How am I going for time? Oh, I'm almost at the 30. I think I think there should have been a tags in 30. Not a tags in 10 to 20 to 30. I don't think I'll ever hit the 10 mark for sure. Okay. And oh, that is so cute. I love it. And I'm just thinking. I think I just want to finish it off with a little piece of lace. I may even, I may straight stitch that on just above, I think. So I'm going to use this piece here as my sewing guide. And that will be where my straight stitches go in. And that way it won't take away too much detail of those beautiful papers. Hello everybody, I'm back again. So I've sewn on my piece of lace. I think it looks so pretty. It's such a simple idea and it's using up all of those scraps that we have that we hang on to that we just don't know what to do with. So I think it would be fabulous on a pocket or on a tag. I may do both actually for my journal that I'm working on. I haven't decided but very fun and simple you could use larger squares you could have them closer together further apart however you'd like to make it work but i will show you how it looks on the page so i have a signature out of my journal here and oops i need to zoom out so just so that you can see how it looks in the journal on a page I just think that is so fun and so, so pretty. So I hope you've enjoyed this little pockets in 10 to 20 to 30. And I hope you can have some fun with this quick and easy idea. I look forward to seeing you soon, everybody. Happy crafting. Bye for now.